folks. <clears throat> Just want to uh, share my little uh, mountain banjo project from uh, a few months ago during COVID. I've been kind of on a little banjo journey <clears throat> from uh, actually from just around the time that COVID started. So this one here, uh, this is the first mountain banjo that I made. I, as I, I, I outlined a few of my gourd banjos and bowl banjos and uh, this one here, I just thought I should try to do a, <clears throat> a mountain banjo. So I used some, uh, some cherry, um, actually they were table leaves. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I tend to, I tend to kind of scavenge uh, table parts. And this is a, actually a, an old table leg, a uh, maple table leg that I picked up somewhere and was uh, just hanging out in my garage. Yeah, if you see tables laying around, uh, discarded tables laying around with their legs missing, they, they might be <laughs> might be in my garage. I took three pieces of, uh, or cut three pieces of cherry wood out of um, out of those table leaves, and um, yeah, I, I I I alternated the grain. So the grain on the top piece is running this way, the grain on the middle piece is running the other way, and then the grain on the bottom piece again is going the same direction. And then I, uh, yeah, for the pot inside for this, the tone ring, the steel, the steel piece in there, I just, I bought a, an old uh, Teflon pan from, uh, from Goodwill that was that size. It was just a, like a saucepan about this deep. And I just cut the bottom off and smoothed it down and uh, made an aluminum tone ring. But I, I tried to do a little sort of crazy little angular thing so this thing would fit in there. It was actually probably unnecessary and required a lot more sort of um, cutting and working and, and uh, to make it fit right. But um, yeah, I don't know if I'd do that again, but it, uh, it came out pretty good. Um, I, I love the, the way it sounds. The skin came out, out real tight. Um, I actually just, um, um, I, I used a metal ring um, the typical rings that I've been using are, uh, that I, I cut out of, um, those little, um, tomato, those metal, uh, tomato or plant things that you put in your garden have, have nice little hoops in them. And it's just about the right size of a ring that you need to, uh, to make a banjo, uh, a banjo ring. So, um, I believe I had a, a ring in there, which I sewed, I sewed the, uh, the wet, um, skin to that. And then I just, yeah, stretched it down over there. It was quite, it was quite a, uh, I didn't leave myself enough, enough slack. So by the time I was um, trying to get this thing to seal up, I was, I was actually standing on it, jumping on it with all my weight <laughs> to try to get that skin to stretch down enough so the boards would come together. Finally clamped it into my, my vise in my, in my garage after jumping on it for a while and managed to get it, it closed up and just drove some, some wood screws down through there and plugged them, uh, plugged them with uh, some dowels that I cut out. Um, for, the, uh, for the neck, uh, it's kind of had to deal again with the fact that table legs, um, in fact, the, you know, turned table legs have, have little turnings in them. So you'll see again, one of these little turning spots uh, across the uh, the neck there, where I had to fill it in with um, fill it in with a couple pieces of dowel, uh, and then just uh, sand it down. And I had to put in a splice of uh, of wood up at the top there because um, yeah, you'll see the you'll see the cutouts of the table leg. So if you imagine the bottom of the table leg sitting like this, um, yeah, there's the decorative little. Uh, turning on the bottom of that table leg and because of that I had to do some some weird stuff and that's the sort of the shape of the headstock that I got out of the out of that uh, table leg just kind of left the little turning pieces in it and of course just use uh, some violin uh, tuners that I picked up cheap on Amazon and made my fifth peg I kind of like uh, I don't like carving all my pegs but uh, I, I do usually carve my own fifth pegs and um, and my little uh, fifth string um, nut just made out of a piece of wood, like a little mushroom that I drilled a hole and poked into the into the neck. And again, I use my little uh, signature copper wire. Uh, just drill a hole and drive some copper wire into the 
fretboard to give me the, uh, I don't know if you can see those little fret marks. Um, I just sand them off flat, so it just gives you a visual reference when you're playing. So that's, uh, that's Mountain Banjo, number one. Maybe the last one that I do, but uh, yeah, I sure, sure enjoyed uh, learning about that tailpiece. I, I actually did a sort of a old style tailpiece in two pieces. Um, hooked that piece on and uh, just made a little, little tailpiece that uh, screws on over the top. So just real pleased with how it came out. So thanks for watching.